President and Honorable Speaker to Parliament, Your Excellency, Dr. Pena Litko, Acting Prime Minister, Attorney General, Minister of Economy, Civil Service, Communications, Housing, Community Development, Honorable Rayas, Sayed Kayum, Chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Mr. Mukesh Nand, members of the Diplomatic Corps, members of the Electoral Commission, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and a very good morning to you all. First, I would like to welcome the new chair of the Electoral Commission, Mr. Mukesh Nand. Congratulations on your appointment, and I also acknowledge the rest of the Commission members present here today. We are here today because every Fijian not only has the constitutional right to vote, but a patriotic duty to do so and choose the future they want for Fiji. Our third ever genuine national election lies in front of us, and this morning, the women and men in white and blue of the Fiji Elections Office, the FEO, as we know them, are launching the Know Your Elections campaign, a national effort that builds on the higher power accessibility and credibility that the Fiji Elections Office had set in the 2014 elections and again in 2018. There's much I could say about all the excellent work of the Supervisor of Elections and the Fiji Elections Office, but I think they would appreciate if I start by echoing vital importance of every Fijian vote. After all, this is the mission that they strive for every day. Every adult citizen in Fiji has a constitutional right to vote freely under an electoral system that treats vote equally, no matter who we are, where we come from, what faith we follow, whether we are young or old, whether we are men or women, we are all guaranteed equal votes of equal value. That has become the norm for us. Fijians today expect equality, and that is a powerful sign of progress given this country's past. While it is right that our expectations for equality have risen, as our democracy has matured. Let us not grow into the state of complacency that these are still early days for true democracy in Fiji. For the majority of my life, there was not a genuine democracy in this country. And in some parts of the world today, people under the rule of an unelected leaders would do anything for the freedom that we have today. They would traverse continents they would even wage wars, so no Fijian should ever take our sacred right to vote equally in our elections for granted. It is more dear to our democracy. It is the most meaningful action we can take to improve or imperil our future. It can be tempting to give the feminism that tells us that politics does not make a difference in the affairs of most ordinary people. This is a dangerous line. Politics and politicians make up government. And the government creates policies that shape our day-to-day -day lives for better and for worse. We vote wisely. We vote in support of the policies that we believe offer us our best possible future. So, your participation in our electoral system matters. It matters because it affects every aspect of our lives. Policies can preserve stability or undermine it. They can uphold social and political freedom or roll them back. They can create opportunities in all of our communities or curtail them. They can help grow business or hinder them. They can strengthen our resilience to crisis like climate change or leave us vulnerable. They can amplify our voices in the world affairs or quiet them. From the school regulations that impact our children's life, to what infrastructure should be improved or built, to the assistance that is available from government to the vulnerable. Politics and policies matter to everything that we all experience every day, and so do our goals. We may not see every issue and their solutions the same way, our democratic system makes room for different opinions. 
That is its nature. What brings democracy to life is when you exercise that opinion by casting your vote. Observing is, is not enough. Complaining either is not enough. We have to actually participate by taking the time to register and then vote on election day. That is easier to do than ever, and that fact is credited to the Fiji Elections Office. Building up several months of effort, their teams will again be sweeping across the country, across towns and cities, remote islands and highlands, creating a way of voter awareness that is helping register more Fijians and excite them about the importance of their votes. Their website has been updated and is more accessible. And they have launched a new Know Your Elections and handbook that is translated in the Tokay, Fiji, Hindi, Banaban, Rotuman, and Chinese. That explains in simple terms everything all of us need to know about our next elections. I urge every Fijian to read it. The result of this effort speaks for themselves. Today, 60% of our population has already registered for the blue water cards needed to vote in this year's elections. The blue water card will have details of your polling venues so that you are all familiar with exactly where you need to go and vote. If you haven't yet registered or replaced your green water card with blue, I'm kindly asking you to please do it. I have my card and I'm proud of it. It was easy to obtain. The replacement of the Voter card charge is, is free of charge, and you can visit a voter centers, service centers in Suva, Lotoka, Mombasa, and in mobile sites across Fiji to get your cards updated. In fact, as of this week, it has become even easier. The Fiji Elections Office will have birth certificate information on hand at all registration sites. And I'm told the Fiji Elections Office will be launching a national raffle that will award $100 each to up to 300 newly registered voters for a total of $30,000 in price. We do not know yet the date of the next election, but we know it's fast approaching. We appreciate, we appreciate all the future elections of the done and all that it is doing to ensure that our people across accept access to registration, voting sites, and credible election information. I'm glad to know that some of our future election office will be recognized for their hard work today. Thanks to the efforts and such organization, that there is no excuse for any Fijian not to know that the elections and voting it. My fellow Fijians, if you take time today, it is your nation. If you take anything from today, it is that your nation needs you to take this patriotic duty seriously and vote on Elections Day. Make it a day with your loved ones and most importantly in a respectful way. Agree to disagree with those who may see things differently than you may see them. We have a different political beliefs, but we are all Fijians at the end of the day. May the Almighty God bless you all and may God bless